Am I the asshole for making my ex wait in the other room while I breastfed our son during his visits? My ex-husband, we're separated, gets two hours with our son every day. If my son needs to be fed during his time, I make him go in the other room or I take our son into another room. For the first month he never said anything to me but I could tell he was annoyed by me doing this. Yesterday, he finally had a fight with me over it. He said I was being ridiculous since he'd seen me naked hundreds of times and that I was purposely cutting into his time with our son. He wouldn't leave the room when I asked him to so I ended up having to feed my son in front of him because he was hungry and crying. He told me today he was going to move back into our home. Am I the asshole? He told me today he was going to move back into our home. Um, what? This guy sounds like he has zero respect for you or your boundaries. Not the asshole. Not the asshole, and don't let him move back in unless that's what you want. However, if you are feeding during his time, you need to not count it against his two hours. So if you're out of the room with your son for 30 minutes, he gets to stay 30 minutes more with his son. I'm more worried about him deciding to move in again even though you're separated. Not the asshole. Not the asshole. He wants to be able to watch you breastfeeding because he thinks it's okay and you're not comfortable? Not his choice. Also, just because you've seen someone naked during a relationship doesn't give them consent for the rest of your life. Extend the visiting time if you need. He told you that he's moving back in? Tell him he is not. And call the police if he tries. Then get a restraining order. Not the asshole op, but you should put the information about him coming when he wants and doesn't been willing to stay longer in an edit. With nearly 200 comments will nobody get that information. ITT. People who don't know how breastfeeding works. People who refuse to acknowledge that her ex forcing her to feed in front of him is extremely concerning. And her ex trying to force more control by saying he's just gonna move in. Oh, and top it off with the ex just coming and going as he pleases for these visits. He sounds like reeking hot garbage and so do a lot of these redditors commenting. Not the asshole in any way. Am I the asshole for telling my soon-to-be niece that she doesn't need to wear a dress to my wedding? I, 32 female, am getting married to my fiancé, 41 male, next year. After we got engaged, I suggested it might be nice if I asked my fiancé's niece, who's 15, if she wanted to be a bridesmaid too. I've only met her a couple of times, so we're not close, but she seemed like a cool kid and I thought it might be a nice way for us to bond, get to know each other, involve her in the wedding. Side note she's the only niece, nephew on either side of the family. Anyway, cut to a few weeks ago and we're in my fiancé's hometown to visit his family and discuss wedding-related stuff. His brother, sister-in-law and their daughter came over and I noticed this time that she was dressed a lot more androgynous than I remembered. The topic moved to wedding dresses and bridesmaids' dresses and I could see she was immediately uncomfortable. Her parents, her mum really, and grandma were making comments about how she'd need to be more feminine, brush her hair etc., and how nice it would be to see her like that. I'll be honest and say this hit a nerve with me, as I was very much a tomboy as a teenager, even though I'm not anymore, and it absolutely broke me whenever my relatives would say things like that. Eventually, her mother made a comment along the lines of, it'll be nice to see you dressed like a girl for once. And she looked really sad, embarrassed, upset. In response, because that really hit a nerve, I immediately told her that my maid of honor would be wearing a trouser suit for the wedding and not a dress and that I'd given all the bridesmaids the option of wearing anything they want as long as it's in the wedding color, to make things easier. I pulled out my phone and started showing her photos of the ideas my friend had sent me, a jumpsuit, culottes, a trouser suit, a tailored tux etc. And let her know that she could pick anything at all she wanted she could even wear jeans and trainers if that made her comfortable, and that it's a wedding, not a fashion show. My niece perked up a bit when I said that but her mum looked really pissed off. She since asked my fiancé to pressure me into getting all the bridesmaids dresses so their daughter will have to wear one, which, lol, no. My husband doesn't give a shit what she wears, but obviously also doesn't want his family and me to be arguing on the wedding day. I don't want to back down because I know what it feels like to be pressured into wearing something that makes you uncomfortable, but on the other hand, I know it's only for a day and it'd make the family happy. Am I the asshole for trying to overrule her parents? Definitely not the asshole. Don't back down. Stand your ground. Never in my life had I thought I would be urging someone to be a bridezilla. Please. Please. Be the bridezilla. Go full bridezilla. Not the asshole take her shopping to get her wedding outfit so mom can't overrule you. Keep your niece's outfit at your place. Not the asshole. 
she's 15 and is old enough to decide on how she would like to dress. You are being very reasonable by allowing her to be comfortable in what she is wearing, as long as it is meeting the wedding color. The mum is an asshole for trying to make her daughter wear something that she would be uncomfortable. This would make her not enjoy being your bridesmaid and could also affect your happiness knowing that one of your bridesmaids are not happy. Not the asshole. Why WBTA if you went back on it now, for a couple of reasons. First, you'd be taking back your word to your other bridesmaids and forcing them all to be less comfortable to accommodate your brother-in-law and SIL's bullying. Second, how would you have felt at that age when your family treated you that way and someone told you you were allowed to wear what you were comfortable in and then immediately turned around and did your family's bidding instead? If her shitty parents want to bully her into wearing something that makes her uncomfortable, you can't stop them. But that doesn't mean you should help them. Not the asshole primarily for respecting your niece's wishes and prioritizing her comfort. But also it's your wedding and the other relatives don't get a say in what your wedding party wears. You are so right. It's not a fashion show. To put someone's comfort ahead of traditional garb and matchy-matchy crap is very nice of you. Sounds like her parents are the ones who need to work on themselves, not their daughter. Not the asshole. Am I the asshole for refusing to sell my car and embarrassing my boyfriend in front of his dad? Am I the asshole? So before I was with my boyfriend I was with my ex. He was very wealthy and despite the relationship not working out he did give me a lot of gifts throughout it and he bought me a car for our fourth anniversary paid off in my name. We broke up right at the beginning of the pandemic and I met my current boyfriend 10 months ago and we've been official for 3 months now. I'm not one to speak about exes and he never asked any questions so I never told him how I got my car. He did compliment it but that's about it. My boyfriend's father is a mechanic and yesterday I was over at my boyfriend's apartment his dad had to drop something off and he commented about my car saying it was the best in the parking lot and he liked the color and rims not knowing it's mine. We laughed about it and his dad was asking me a ton of questions about it and how much I pay a month and I told him it's paid off in a gift. My boyfriend was surprised and said he assumed I was paying it off and asked by who and I said my ex. He got quiet and it was really awkward for a bit where no one said anything. His dad broke the ice saying it's a great gift since I don't have to worry about paying it off and the conversation continued with him wanting to drive it around the parking lot and see inside which I let him. When he left my boyfriend started going off on me saying he can't believe I never said anything and that I just embarrassed him in front of his dad. I said how and he said he can't believe me and that I need to sell it since it doesn't fit my lifestyle anyway, and that he thought it was a dumb decision I made not that it was a romantic gift. I said that it's not romantic and that to my ex it meant nothing and he got even more mad. His dad came back and gave me my keys and left and then my boyfriend asked me to leave too even though we had plans to go out. He's been distant since. Did I really embarrass him and am I the asshole? Not the asshole and in my opinion that's a red flag from your current BF. Telling you that you need to sell it, bruh. Not the asshole. I need to sell it since it doesn't fit my lifestyle anyway. Your new boyfriend of underscore three underscore months is trying to dictate how you should live your life after you left. What appeared to be a good four-year relationship despite it not working out. The honeymoon period is officially over. Sorry. He just showed you exactly who he is. Keep your lovely car. His dad broke the ice saying it's a great gift since I don't have to worry about paying it off. His dad is right. Not the asshole. Not the asshole. It was really considerate of your boyfriend to show his ass just three months into the relationship. He's saving you a lot of energy by making it easy for you to spot all the red flags and end things before you waste any more time with him. Not the asshole. Your boyfriend may resent you having such an expensive gift from your ex, and he may feel lesser because of it. However, it is wrong of him to ask you to sell it unless he plans to buy you a new car, paid in full, because you shouldn't have to go in debt with a car loan just so he'll feel better. If he gives you more grief, remind him that you don't date your ex anymore, and that you chose to be with him, not your ex. But also, be warned. This strikes me as a controlling behavior. If he is going to try to dictate something like this to you, you may want to rethink the relationship. No, you didn't embarrass him, he's just jealous that your ex had so much money that he could gift you a car. Not the asshole. Am I the asshole for letting my ex sign over his paternity rights before he knew the babies were his? My, F42, boyfriend, M57, of four years split recently. We met while we were both going through divorces and we got together about six months after mine was final his was final before mine. 
We live in different towns so we sometimes would go a couple of weeks between visits due to distance but it worked for us. He has four kids, M37, F35, M14, M12, and has shared custody of the two youngest with his second ex-wife. I share two kids, M18, F16, with my ex-husband. It just hasn't made sense for us to move closer due to having to fight with EXS to change custody agreements. I found out eight months ago I was pregnant. This was completely unexpected as he had a vasectomy after his last son was born. Neither of us had any intention to have more children and I was not prepared to be pregnant at 41. I didn't even find out until I was almost five months along because my periods have been odd for years due to a combination of weight loss, anemia, genetics and age. I went to see him and his reaction was. Well he broke things off with me and had some very choice words to call me. He refused to believe anything other than that I was seeing someone else and trying to pin this pregnancy on him. His ex-wife cheated on him often which is why they split so part of me understands his emotional reaction but he spent the last eight months ghosting me and has refused to even speak to me. The babies, twins M, F, were born three months ago. I do not need his financial help but I decided to file for child support so he would do a paternity test. Once his friend said he took the test but before we had the results, which I never needed he was the only person I had been with. I had him served with papers to sign over his parental rights and all financial responsibility as well. Unsurprisingly he signed the papers without hesitation. We got the paternity test's results back and now he is blowing up my phone and showing up at my house angry at me and saying I am a jerk because I refuse to entertain the idea of getting back together or moving closer to him. He also says I tricked him into signing over his rights. I am aware he may be able to fight me as it is recent. Some of my friends and family are telling me I am an asshole for doing this to him and others say they understand why I did. So dear Reddit, am I the asshole? Edit. I live in Colorado. We did have to go to court to relinquish his rights but it was a very short visit. He did not deny paternity, he admitted to never wanting anything to do with the babies, that he had not met them, and that the distance between us would make it difficult to co-parent. My lawyer brought up his felony, that he had abandoned the babies, the fact that I have both financial means and family support. The judge agreed termination was acceptable. I will apologize because after speaking to a few people I am learning it is rarely this smooth when my lawyer made it sound and seem so easy. I do know he can fight and possibly get his rights back, and I am undecided on if I would fight him on that. I am absolutely willing to county parent with the man. I am not willing to forget what happened and just start dating again. Not the asshole. Why would you get back together with someone who accused you of cheating? He has nobody to blame but himself. And if he signed over rights and the kids weren't his, the papers wouldn't have meant a damn thing. Sounds to me like his family is giving him shit and now he wants to save face. He also says I tricked him into signing over his rights. Yeah. Sure. Right. Unless you presented a stack of mundane papers awaiting his signature and hid the paternity docs in the middle, he knowingly signed away his rights. There was no trickery. Your ex needs a wake-up call on reality and personal responsibility. Not the asshole. Not the asshole. He didn't have a problem with accusing you of cheating. He didn't have a problem with leaving you alone the rest of your pregnancy. He didn't have a problem with giving up his parental rights. Now he should not have to have a problem with facing the consequences. Not the asshole. He signed the papers before he got the results. The only 100% sure fire way to prevent pregnancy is abstinence. I have been cheated on, so I understand his initial reaction. But he took it too far. To want to get back together after going over the top and believing you cheated really is unrealistic. Not the asshole. First, he didn't believe you when you said the babies were his, and now he's mad because they are his, biologically? He knew he took a paternity test and chose to sign over his rights without waiting for the results. He's an adult, he is responsible for his actions. This is all on him. I don't blame you for not wanting to get back with him. Not the asshole. Is there any reason he had to sign the papers right away? I'm sure he could have asked to delay until he had the results back. He made his own choice.